Floaty ball forward, flick on, a Cherby's going to get there. Back post, Arnautovic. His header struck fresh air as the groans from the Curva Nord let us know that Inter failed to take the chance late on. Unbelievable. Look, what, what did he miss? I mean, don't get me wrong, he missed something. Seems to be easy, but good defending there. Look, the defender how hold him off and does make him jump properly. It's, it's unbelievable. It's uh, <laughs> Verona is defending with anything they've got. Nears by anything, honestly. And was that the last chance of the match? Lautaro Martinez trying to get on the outside of Magnani. Does enough with the header, but only as much to give away the corner kick. And those still here at San Siro on their feet trying to offer some last support. Six again in the box. Barella and Di Marco on the edge. Chalanolu needs a perfect delivery. In it comes, away by Magnani. Duda's down in the box. Inter fans unsympathetic. Di Marco's cross deflected. Bastoni! And then driven back in, spilled! And there is the winning goal! Davide Fratesi, Inter, show the champion spirit! 2024 starts with a bang. What a goal! Unbelievable! What a chance! What a cross! But honestly, Inter, unbelievable! What a what a fate! They wanted this, desperate this win, and they got a first cross bar, and then a great save, and then of course, just making things happen. That's his Inter wanted desperate this win and Fratesi of course believing that the ball could have just finished there and he does it so. 2-1 for Inter. Bastoni bludgeoned it off the crossbar. The chance seemed to have gone but Davide Fratesi if he is onside gets the biggest goal of his career in front of the Curva Nord. Coming on as an 83rd minute Substitute the 24 year old in exactly the right place to chuck home that deflected parry. Yeah, I think they are checking just a, a free kick for Verona here. We see Duda down in the penalty box. I didn't see what happened. They are checking. This is the unbelievable shot from Bastoni. And here, another great shot from Barella. Montipo probably is not perfect, but. The trust, the belief of, you know, Fratesi following that ball there, I think is more than normal. 2-1, I think the goal has been allowed it. So I think, ah, yeah, Pontipo here does make any life easier for himself. But uh, what can you say? That's how football goes. Seems to be 2-1 for Inter. That is the reaction of Pepe Marotta and Javier Zanetti, the legendary Inter captain. Emotions overflowing at San Siro in the opening game of the year as Davide Fratesi produces the goal and Fabri produces the red card for Darko Lazovic. Emotions on both sides out of control, but it is Verona who are leaving La Scala del Calcio with their heads hung low. They seem to have done enough to claim a point. It's not over yet, but it's the Nerazzurri bouncing after Davide Fratesi came up with the biggest of goals. Now the game is getting a little bit nervous. The red card, I thought, didn't understand why there is that red card. The red card probably, the red card came because Lazarus has been saying something to the referee. We don't know, but of course, lots of nervous now. He's come here. Montipo goes forward as well to try to score the equaliser. All hands on deck for Simone Inzaghi as Duda's going to deliver this ball. We've seen Provadel in the Champions League score a goal of uh, folklore quality. Can Lorenzo Montipo do something similar as the defence pushes out? Duda clips it wide. Header by Coppola, then Montipo, back in, they still haven't cleared it, goes down too easily, Fabri says get up, there's no goalkeeper, there's two inter players, there's a wide open net, and there's going to be a 3-1 scoreline, how 
in the world. Did Barella and Alexis Sanchez not score into third? That's absolutely crazy. I think Barella just wanted to give the ball the perfect assist to, to Alexis Sanchez, but that's crazy. You need to score, you need to put the result. And just 3-1, game over, bye-bye, see you later. Unbelievable. Checking a possible penalty. There is a VAR. They've already been one red card here for Verona late on. And uh, what should have been a, a simple third goal for Nicola Barella. It's the other end of the pitch indeed. That's what we were wondering about. And it's this challenge from Darmian. And he catches Magnani. Big decision. It's a penalty to Verona. The drama just keeps on coming here at San Siro. <laughs> Honestly, we were thinking about the great occasion that Inter had, but of course, there was this kick from Darmian. We can see here again. Yeah, definitely kick Magnani foot. Jan Sommer has the responsibility for the Nerazzurri. What a game to get uh, it going here. We spoke about Bafana, Candy or Cole. Well, this would be the sweetest if Thomas Henri could convert for Verona and the bitterest of taste for Inter. The pressure moment. Henri from the spot. Hits the post and then headed wide. Inter claim the victory in the most dramatic circumstances as the French number nine blows his chance to be the hero for the Jello Blue.